Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel and to another music reaction. Today I'm going to be reacting to another new artist to me, um, someone that you guys recommended to me. Yet again, I'm going off of your recommendations and you guys haven't uh, let me down at all so far. So his name is uh, Jeff Castellucci, I believe. Yes, yes. Jeff Castellucci, yes. Um, and I guess he is a part of a, a group that you guys also recommended that I check out that I hopefully will have an opportunity to do sometime in the near future as well. But what I'm going to be listening to today is his cover of Far Over the Misty Mountains Cold um, from The Hobbit. And when I saw that this was out there as a possibility and was recommended to me for a reaction, I got extremely excited because... I am a huge fantasy nerd. I mean, you guys know I have the dragons from Game of Thrones, The Song of Ice and Fire tattooed on my arm. I mean, I have lots of dragons everywhere. It's probably not a huge surprise, but yes, I am also a fan of Tolkien. Lord of the Rings, huge part of my childhood, and I still love it to this day. And the Hobbit movies were not quite, you know, what I hoped they would be at some instances, but there were other parts that I really did thoroughly enjoy. Um, I liked Richard Armitage's Thorn, but not to ramble on about that. But the music never fails to disappoint me, and I'm really excited because this is supposed to be a impressive cover from what you guys have said, and also he's supposed to have a really deep and impressive bass voice, which, as you guys have known, if you've been checking out any of my, say, Pentatonix reactions or Home Free, that I... I but I really like that. I like listening to that. So I'm looking forward to it. And oh, just, just wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I got it. I have, I have my, my friend here. I have my, my little smog here with us today for this. So he's gonna, he's gonna check this out as well. He's gonna enjoy this. Um, all right, guys. So yes, my, my nerdiness. <laughs> on display. Anyway, let's check it out. Here we go. All right, we got some full-on cosplay, like elaborate sets happening here. I like that. Okay, the bass starts it off. So this is all, these are all him, okay. Yeah, I have any idea how much I'm loving this right now. 
shadows lie. gonna lie here you guys have introduced me to a number of extremely impressive artists so far on this channel um from from angelina who is seems to like literally embody the spirit of certain songs and types of music and make them her own um <laughs> to a nightwish you know completely different style um but that really is is very much me and kind of just captures kind of the aesthetic that I love um and I've not been let down at all by anything that you guys have introduced me to as I've said before this is definitely up there I would say if it's not if not my favorite, then definitely one of my favorites um, of the performances that I have reacted to so far on this channel. Like, without a doubt. I absolutely loved that. And I know, I'm sure that part of it is just my deep-seated love for all things Tolkien and... and so, so I was feeling honestly kind of like a bit emotional listening to it just because of the love that I have for the story and the characters um, and, and so the feeling behind it. But everything, absolutely everything about this was great. The fact that he had the four different versions of him dressed up as some of the different hobbits. <laughs> was fantastic, wonderful. He did a great job on the sets and the cosplays off the chart. The Thorin cosplay, top notch, loved it. Um, and just the performance, absolutely blow me away. Just knock me over. <laughs> I didn't think, I, I was not expecting some of those extreme low notes to come out of a human being. Like, I've heard some deep bass before, but there were some points in there where it really seemed like I, I would not have thought that a human being could produce that low of a note and hold it for that amount of time. And at one point I would have, if, if I had my eyes closed and was not aware of what was going on, I could have been convinced that some of those things were coming out of like a tuba or... <laughs> a prolonged chord on a uh, electric bass or something along those lines um so that yeah that was crazy to me but just overall the entire the entire experience I, like i said i really love listening to deep bass performances and this was like the perfect one for me because of what it was and how he performed it it was absolutely beautiful 
it, it, I don't I don't really have the right words to describe it. I want to say things like like rich which seems like a weird word for describing someone's voice, but that's kind of what's coming to me right now. It's like I could just lay back and listen to that and let it wash over me and it'd be like rich and warm and comforting if that makes sense. It's just extremely beautiful. I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. So yeah, and, and Spog loved it too. <laughs> he would be he would be lured out and enchanted. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. Definitely, if you have more things by him, specific performances, songs that you would like me to react to, please do let me know because I definitely want to check out more from him. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.